Well, the Wildfires Collection came to the Raycal Research Library in 2008. It was a gift by the Museum of London. Well, it's unique to have a collection of a company's work that's so complete. The Wildfires Glass Company was one of England's oldest and most prominent glass companies. Actually, it was in existence for just over 300 years, and it lasted up until the late 20th century, so it was a very prominent glass company. So it went out of business in stages. The stained glass part of the company went out of business, and then the remaining part of the company went out of business. But we're able to document for that period many of the installations that they did around the world. Uh, we have approximately 1,800 rolls. Well, some of the rolls are an individual work. Others are a number of different works in, in different mediums. We've found as many as 18 different pieces in a roll. We estimate that all told there are probably between five to 7,000 images and works of different sorts in the 1,800 rolls. Uh, we wound up with the cartoons, which are really the templates for the actual work of art. They're life-sized pieces that the artist would use as a template for installing the stained glass windows. One of the things that sparked our interest in the Whitefriars collection, in addition just to being an amazing collection, is the fact that when we were going through the list of the 1800 rolls, we found that one of them was for a church in the local area, specifically Park Church in Elmira, New York, which is just about 20 minutes down the road from Corning. And so we were able to go to the church, we were able to look at the glass and determine that we did indeed have the design drawings for that. And it's really cool because when you look at it, the logo on the stained glass windows is a white fryer. <laughs> and so you can immediately tell a white fryer's window because it has a white fryer in the panel at the bottom. So White Friars was doing churches, but they were also doing a number of residential installations and public institutions. And at the same time, of course, they're working in stained glass. They were also doing a regular kitchenware and, and glass design. So they were actually a fairly diverse glass company, and to think of it entirely as a stained glass company, it, it would be wrong because they were really working across the spectrum of glass. So it's a chance to study not just a single role or a single installation, but look at all of the work that they did. And the thing that we find really appealing is that there's a community feel to it. Because there are so many different installations, so many countries represented, it's an opportunity, if we share the information, to have communities around the world participating in that and to kind of group all those works together and hopefully the people who enjoy those works as well.